Every LEGO game has hundreds of characters, but there are thousands more that have been hidden away from you, which I like to call secret characters. So join me today as we look at the best secret character from every single LEGO game, starting off with LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Two total characters were cut from The Complete Saga, Sans Suite and The Spaceman, and I must say the Spaceman is just adorable, look at his little run. But but then you have Sans Suite, who is pretty creepy for a LEGO character. He is way too over detailed, and if you have no idea who Sans Suite is, he is the owner of Skywalker Ranch. So the best secret character out of these two has gotta be the Spaceman. He has all the abilities of a bounty hunter, and he actually looks like a LEGO character. Why did it have to be snakes? LEGO Indiana Jones 1 is up next. This here is Boss Snake, a fully playable giant snake, which can spit poison at enemies and even ride elephants, kinda. Obviously, this character was cut from the game, hence why some of his animations are incomplete. Surprisingly, the snake can swim, which is really weird, and my second choice was the mummy, but seeing Indiana Jones run from a giant snake cannot be beaten. Why did it have to be snakes? Next up, Lego Batman the video game. I nearly forgot that bit. There are a few secret characters in LEGO Batman 1, but to be honest, they are all rather stinky. You have the businessman, janitor, gardener, rock chick, geek. Yeah, so who do I think is the best secret character? Well, it's gotta be the Riot Shield man. He has totally unique animations. What doesn't make sense about him though is how he carries a shield, yet he cannot block attacks. Even though these are secret cut characters, they were never meant to be in the official character roster. They were originally meant to just be extra toggle characters, who are characters only playable in certain levels, like Santa in LEGO Indiana Jones. Normally, I say, time to jump into a fridge, it's LEGO Indiana Jones 2, however, this game actually has no secret characters, unless you class this thing from the Mola and boss fight, so I guess it's time to head over to Hogwarts. Double, double, toil and trouble, it's Lego Harry Potter years 1 to 4. A quick warning, if you do not like spiders, close your eyes, I genuinely mean that. This single-handedly is the most disgusting Lego character ever. I love how the students are not scared at all. I am actually glad Aragog never made it into the game. Just imagine eating your lovely dinner in the Great Hall, then a giant spider just runs across, or even worse, getting webbed up before class. I don't want another detention with Professor Snape. In here again, are we? <laughs> Aragog is gross. He is definitely not getting best secret character. That has to go to Phantom Voldemort. This version of Voldemort is a thousand times cooler. I do not care what anyone says, it is so much better than the normal Voldemort, and when I was a kid, it always angered me how they cut this character from the game. Why did they do it? Actually, please let me know in the comments down below which version of Voldemort you prefer. Oh, Vada Kedavra! Next is LEGO Star Wars 3, and shall we do a Clone Wars style intro for this one? Ooh, yeah, go on. A massive amount of secret characters have been unlocked in LEGO Star Wars 3, Jedi Master Rugged Eagle is tasked to find the best of the lot. Anyway, LEGO Star Wars 3 actually shocked me with how many secret characters this game has, from unfinished character models to the giant beasts. Even though these characters are so fun to play, the game cannot handle them at all, especially in the hub world, and how could I forget, none of them even have attacking animations, so you're kinda just a massive walking target. In the end, I decided to give the best secret character to the Rocket Battle Droid. He is a mix of Heavy and Django Fett. Being able to jetpack around and spray down battle droids feels so good. And I see that he's got that Nightwing style going on. I like it. You best start believing in secret characters, Miss Turner. Because I am one! He actually is. Next up, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. This is Jack the Monkey, and I will never forgive TT Games for cutting Jack the Monkey from the character roster. Why did you do it, TT Games? Jack the Monkey even has a special attack where he pulls off an enemy's hat and full on smacks him with it. There was actually no reason for TT Games to get rid of Jack the Monkey. He is literally complete, and he has a cursed version too. Yeah, the Kraken is also a secret character in Lego 
more Pirates of the Caribbean, and I can definitely see why this character was never added or finished. He is just way too big and way too messy. Time to sprint at a brick wall once again. It's LEGO Harry Potter years 5 to 7. The problem with the LEGO Harry Potter games is how all the characters are very similar. Everyone has a wand and the same spells, near enough, so naturally, you would expect the secret cut characters to be like all the others. But they are not, and seeing them all here really makes me wish they made the final roster, like Ghost Bride or Force Ghost Lupin, even the Sorting Hat. And the best secret character for me has to be the Dementor, and fun fact, if you play the first level in the game and suck your, hang on, Dementor kiss your co-op partner, it actually bypasses the first level. And what is really cool is how the only spell to be able to damage the Dementor is the Patronus spell, which is a nice little detail, and yes, they are characters like the Gringotts, Dragon and Grope, but they just do not work in hub world. Dun, da, 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 da. Next is Lego Batman. Two, two, two. Everyone knows how tiny the Lego Batman 2 character roster is. It doesn't take the world's greatest detective to know that a lot of characters were scrapped. Like Darkseid, Superboy, Vixen, Mr. Freezer's wife, shouldn't she look like this and Shadow Batman? Who is 100% the best of the secret characters in LEGO Batman 2 and I can picture now what Shadow Batman would have been like if they actually finished him, having stealth mode on all the time, being invisible to every enemy. Man, Shadow Batman is so cool and he can use bat suits. Next up is the LEGO game with the eye. High in the sky, it's LEGO Lord of the Rings. This has been joked upon for many years, LEGO Game Bosses versus LEGO Game Bosses when you unlock them, and this was the case with Sauron, but now, after all these years, I finally have Big Sauron. The bionicle design of Big Sauron is just breathtaking. I want this in real life. I do understand why he never made the final game, he does glitch out in a lot of the levels, but then again, they could have just have disabled him in every level and kept him for the open world. Fly, you fools! It's time to go to LEGO City Undercover! Behold the bomb arm, a fully playable secret LEGO Mario character inside LEGO City Undercover, and if you are confused why there is a Mario character inside LEGO City Undercover, well, the game originally dropped on the Wii U, hence why it's got Mario Easter eggs in the game and this secret cut character. It then re-released on all other platforms in 2017, with all the Mario stuff removed. The LEGO Bomb Om is actually unlike any other LEGO game character we have ever had before because he has a timer on him until he explodes. And if you equip Super Character, you have King Bomb Om, you're just missing the moustache. Next up is the best selling LEGO game ever, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. Everybody knows about the Secret Citizen character or Tiny Stan Hulk, but in my opinion, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes actually has the all time best best secret character. The Destroyer. Not only does this character look the part, but he can destroy golden objects, metal objects, use super strength, and they are some mind-blowing details on this character, like how he turns his head all the way around when firing his lava beam. Now, a lot of the big, super large characters on this list always look amazing, but they just aren't that great in terms of gameplay, but the Destroyer is because he has a lot of abilities and he can actually attack. Next up, LEGO Movie, the video game. The LEGO Movie Game character roster is practically just a giant crossover, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles nearly made the roster. Mikey the Turtle is the only cut character, so he is automatically the best. Unfortunately, he was never finished, but with the power of customization, I gave him two katanas. Now he is a true Ninja Turtle, not just a turtle. Who's ready for some fancy washing up? It's LEGO Hobbit! The best secret character for this LEGO game is the Stone Giants. Why these never made the character roster, I will never know, because they work brilliantly and they are fully animated. It's not because they are too big, because we have characters like the Goblin King. Whatever you do, do not take the eagles. Man, that is one strong eagle. Talking about eagles, hello, hello, hello there, guys. I am Rugged Eagle. 
And if you love LEGO games, why not subscribe? I do tons of LEGO game videos and a like would be so appreciated if you have gone to enjoy this video as it did take quite a while to make. Thank you so much. Anyway, it's time to go to infinity and beyond. Next up, LEGO Batman 3. This LEGO game has a lot of scrapped characters and they are all very generic, like mother and father. Seriously, they are actual characters. The main reason for this is because a lot of characters actually made it into the final game. That is why LEGO Batman 3 has one of the greatest character rosters of all time. So out of the really weird selection of secret characters, I nearly went with the Tron guy, but I decided in the end to go with the Penguin firing dynamite out of your butt is just amazing. And did you know that Conan O'Brien is a secret character in Lego Batman 3? Moving on into the year of 2015, welcome to Jurassic Park, it's Lego Jurassic World. This has to be the most obscure secret character on the list because you most likely would expect it to be a secret dinosaur and yes there is a few but none of their animations are complete so the best secret character has to go to Marty McFly from Back to the Future. The whole reason why Marty McFly is hidden in the game's files is because Steven Spielberg, who directed Jurassic Park, also directed Back to the Future. Or Marty McFly was going to be very similar to how Indiana Jones was in the complete saga where he is simply there to tease the next LEGO game because the LEGO game after this was LEGO Dimensions and Back to the Future was a prominent role in that LEGO game. And well, you probably would have never have guessed that LEGO Dimensions is up next. LEGO Dimensions is a very different one because LEGO Dimensions is a Toys to Life game so it doesn't exactly have a secret character unless there is a special developer character floating around out there. <gasps> it could be Lord Vortex. Next up is the LEGO game where everybody stands in a circle and looks as cool as they can. It's LEGO Marvel Avengers. This is Void, a hidden character in LEGO Marvel Avengers who does actually appear in the game as a idle animation for Century, but he was never completed to be a fully playable character on his own, and he originally looked like this. And thanks to my good friend Brick Bros, he made him fully playable for me. This is what he could have been like if TT Games decided to finish him. Who knows why they never did. There has been an awakening of a secret character. Have you felt it? Next up is LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. The best secret character in this LEGO game is Pre Vizsla, who was meant to be included in the game's Clone Wars DLC. Now, Ever since I was younger, I always wanted a flying character in a LEGO Star Wars game. The jetpacks always angered me when they ran out of fuel, and because Pre Vizsla was never completed, he has unlimited jetpack fuel. Letting you literally fly in a LEGO Star Wars game, my childhood wish has finally come true. And I gotta say, The Force Awakens has a huge amount of incredible hidden characters like the Raptor and a whole bunch of Force Ghosts. Why do TT Games always get rid of the Force Ghosts? They did this in the Skywalker Saga too, stop! Next up we have LEGO World. This LEGO game had a lot of post-launch content like Nexo Knights, Classic Space, Monster Fighters, then finally Ninjago, and a lot of characters and creatures unfortunately never made it into the game because they stopped updating it. The best unused character by far has gotta be the Disco Dude, all we need now is the Bee Gees. Well you can tell by the way I move my walk, I'm a woman's man, no time to talk, music's loud. <laughs> oh that spin is just awesome and here is some heavy nostalgia for you, Mr Gold nearly got added into LEGO World, I spent so long as a kid trying to get Mr Gold. Let's jump up, kick back, whip around and spin over to LEGO Ninjago the movie, the video game, when is that never not a mouthful? Yes, this is a giant playable cat in a LEGO game. Meowthra for some reason was going to be a playable character and whatever you do, do not attack the cat as it is rather graphic for a LEGO game. You just see two giant eyeballs drop on the floor. Ugh. I now understand why TT Games never added this character but they did 
make a Lego version of Me Alpha, which for some reason they decided to remove from the game too, when this version of Me Alpha worked perfectly, and I don't know why they removed it, and I think this is the best secret character for Lego Ninjago. Who's ready to cause some carnage? Next is Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. This has got to be one of the best, if not the best, LEGO game transformation ever, and Maximum Carnum is a force to be reckoned with. And to say he is a secret character, he is absolutely nuts. Yeah, granted he is a little bit too big, but that beam is so powerful. He is one of the very few highlights about LEGO Marvel 2. His boss fight was just amazing, and I'm not a major fan of a lot of aspects about LEGO Marvel 2, such as the level design, I just think it's a little shallow. The character roster though is absolutely amazing. Fly home buddy, it's time for LEGO Incredibles! Da -da 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 -da. I was hoping that there was going to be some hidden secret Pixar characters like Buzz Lightyear to go with Woody, but unfortunately there isn't any, and LEGO Incredibles doesn't have all too many secret characters, but we do have the Omnidroid. Now the Omnidroid was actually in the game, in the extra bonus level where you crush the city, and all the Omnidroid can unfortunately do is roll around, he doesn't have any attacking animations, and I felt like it is a little bit criminal that they didn't include him, because the Omnidroid Omnidroid is one of the most iconic bits about the Incredibles. Yeah, and when I first imported the Omnidroid into the game, I did kind of mess up. I imported the wrong one. Get away from me, you... Ugh. Anyway, next up is LEGO DC Super Villains. Here is Hugo Strange's Monster Man, a character who is very briefly seen in one of the game's many levels where he chases you down, and because of this, all he can literally do is chase things. He has no attacking animations, but but I think because of his standout design, I have got to give him the best secret character. In terms of the others, you have the Young Justice variation of Nightwing and Batgirl, but they're just variations, and the Monster Man is somewhat unique. I do like the Shadow Ninja though, he is pretty cool. Usually up next would be LEGO Movie 2, but unfortunately in a similar case to LEGO Indiana Jones 2, LEGO Movie 2 doesn't really have any secret characters at all, so I guess it's time to go to a galaxy far, far away in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Seriously, thank you so much for watching up to this point of the video, and please let me know down below in the comments who has been your favourite secret character on this list. Anyway, let's get back to it. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga has around 40 unused characters, and the best of the lot has got to be Shower Cap Count Dooku. I remember playing through the story, seeing him in the cutscene, and I was like, I want that character, and when I realised he wasn't in the game, I was pretty upset, and then when I realised he was an unused character, I was even more upset. I really want to say a massive thank you to Linturny Gamer for helping me get Shower Cap Count Dooku alongside Sansweet and the Spaceman, and just before you go, I highly recommend checking out the strangest character from every single LEGO game. Anyway, have a great week guys, and I'll see you in a bit. Adios!